In a volatile world, the solar harvest beats every other source of energy, the cheapest electricity and the quickest way of replacing Russian gas with clean, secure power. And yet the government's energy strategy gave top billing and strongest commitments to wind and nuclear. We were disappointed that the government didn't come out with a concrete target. If you want to move quickly, solar is, is your best option. Hinkley points about 2.5 gigawatts, uh, if memory serves. We've got about 7 gigawatts of solar that we could feasibly get built and, and start exporting in the next two years. Um, so really quick turnaround for basically three times the, the reward. The UK now has 14 gigawatts of solar generating capacity, the government hopes that will increase by up to five times by 2035. But the energy strategy set bolder, more comprehensive targets for eight nuclear reactors and 50 gigawatts of wind turbines. That's despite solar's advantage. The price of solar has fallen 85% over the last decade. It now costs £50 to generate enough electricity to supply 2,000 homes for one hour. But compare that to gas, where it's 200. And the bigger the project, the cheaper it gets. In Cambridgeshire, plans have been submitted for the biggest solar farm yet. More than a million panels spread over the equivalent of 2,500 football pitches. But this is fertile land, good for growing crops. And local farmer Nick says food security matters too. For not a moment are we um, anti-solar, we're anti-bad solar. In the UK, we have 600,000 acres of south-facing industrial roof space, which is unused. We have brownfield sites, we have arable land that is less efficient, less um, versatile than this. That, and we feel that you're t we're taking out here a prime, prime um, quality soil, which should, should not be used for solar. This is the biggest breakthrough in solar technology in decades. In Oxford, scientists are about to start production of a new type of solar panel. By adding a mineral called perovskite, they can generate 20% more electricity. And in future, their panels could double the output of anything available today. Having more energy, more power coming from the same areas means that in the same, we can reduce the areas where we can put those panels for the same power output. Uh, we can use restricted space, urban spaces, rooftops. We will need much less space of that to generate enough power to, to fill the, the country from the sun. The government says it's considering changes to the planning rules to accelerate the growth of solar. It will mean significant changes to the landscape. And while some see light, others fear blight. Thomas Moore, Sky News, 